Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another fall Dollar Tree DIY. I love to do DIYs, especially affordable ones from Dollar Tree because they barely cost you anything. So this time around, I did make another DIY from Dollar Tree. Now I'm just gonna warn you guys, it did not come out as expected. I had a certain idea in my mind that I wanted to do but it just was not working out. So I had bought two beware signs, Halloween signs from Dollar Tree, and I wanted my sign to be pretty tall, and that's why I bought two. I had plans on gluing them together and then doing my DIY, but they just did not want to stick together. I used two different super glues, and I used my hot glue gun and it just was not sticking at all. So then I just gave up on gluing them together and just used one of them. So the DIY did not come out completely how I expected, but it did still turn out cute and it was still super affordable. So in the beginning, I'm going to tell you guys everything that you're going to need for this DIY, but then you're actually only going to need half of it because I ended up not using a super glue because I could not glue the boards together. And then you're also only going to need one board instead of two boards. Either way, although this DIY did not come out as expected, I hope you guys still enjoy this Dollar Tree fall DIY because like I said, it did end up turning out cute, just not as what I expected. And I also still really love the sign, the Halloween sign, beware. And that is why I use the opposite side to do my craft because I still want to use the front side for Halloween. Remember, if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and join me and my YouTube family. Also turn on your notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of my videos. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like me to continue doing fall affordable DIYs. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, guys. So this is all the supplies that you are going to need for your affordable Dollar Tree fall DIY. The first thing you're going to need is a word and a font choice of your own choice. I decided to go with Hello Fall, and I did have to reprint this because I only ended up using one board. Then you are going to need any decor of your choice to glue down to the board. Then you are only going to need one board instead of two. Like I said, my boards did not want to stick together. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a sanding sponge. You're also going to need some Mod Podge and also a paint color of your choice. You are no longer going to need that super glue. You're also going to need some paint brushes and a hot glue gun. So here I am just cutting off the little ribbon because I am not going to hang mine. If you're going to hang yours, you can leave that ribbon on. And then here you see me trying to attempt to glue these two impossible boards together. Like I said, I used two super glues and a hot glue gun and it just was not happening. So I ended up just leaving it with one board. Next, I am just going to peel off the stickers in the back of the board. It took me forever to get the sticker off, but I did pull it all off just because I wanted the paint to go on smoothly. Next, you are going to choose your paint color of your choice and paint the entire back of this board. You can either choose one coat or two coats. I did just do one really good coat of this gray paint. Also guys, I just wanna let you know that the paint was not purchased from my Dollar Tree. I purchased it from Walmart, but it's still super affordable. I believe they were only like a dollar each or a little bit over a dollar. And then my hot glue gun obviously was not purchased from Dollar Tree as well, but all of the other supplies was purchased from your local Dollar Tree. I then decided to go in with this antique white color paint and just do a few strokes of that. And I just try to combine it as much as possible. I just wanted an extra color on my board and decided to go with this really pretty antique white color. After 
after my paint has dried, I'm going to take the sanding sponge and I'm just going to distress it in a few areas that I want it to stress. I just like that look, so I decided to do that in certain areas on my board. Next, I am just going to cut out all of my letters. Like I said, I did choose to go with Hello Fall. So I'm just going to cut out each letter until I'm happy with how the letters look. Now I'm just going to position the letters how I like it before using the Mod Podge to seal it down. What I'm going to do is use a little bit of Mod Podge on the bottom and then I'm going to place the letters and the words over the Mod Podge and then do one good coat over it. You are going to see that it is white, but once it dries, it will dry clear. I'm going to repeat this process for each letter until I am completely done. And now just for an extra touch, I am going to add some of these Dollar Tree fall leaves and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to seal them down. I just added a few of these leaves just because I thought it would add an extra pretty touch to the sign. Okay guys, so these are the end results of my Hello Fall Dollar Tree affordable DIY. Like I said, it did not turn out as expected, but I still think it did turn out cute. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's easy DIY. If you did, please remember to give my video a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, remember to subscribe to my channel and join me and my YouTube family. Also turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and always supporting me and my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.